Hey folks, Stretch here from the 72nd Virtual Fighter Wing, here today to talk to you about the AGM-84 Harpoon, which you can load onto some S-16s new in BMS 4.33. The Harpoon is an anti-ship cruise missile. It cruises low to the water and then has the option to do a pop-up delivery, which makes it very hard to defeat for uh, point defense weapons, which you can find on many ships. Um, the Harpoon has a lot of tasks that you can do uh, on the hot pad before takeoff, uh, so we'll review those now. Uh, if we go to air to ground and then go to the uh, SMS page, you'll see the AGM-84 is powered off. You don't have to power it on to configure it, so we won't do that now. On the weapon page, you configure the AGM-84's flight profile. So um, the first uh, OSB up here is the uh, launch mode. RBL is a range and bearing launch. Uh, in that mode, the AGM-84 flies a uh, bearing and um, flies a certain bearing for a certain range and then starts searching for targets using its radar. Uh, you want to use this mode if you know the location of the ships you're attacking and you've placed a steer point at that location. The harpoon will fly to that location and it won't turn on its radar until it gets there, ensuring that it doesn't attack any ships except the ones you specifically want it to. The other options we have uh, is bearing only launch, that's BOL. Uh, in that mode, you want to use that mode if you don't have good intel on the ship's location because in that mode the harpoon will fly the aircraft's bearing uh, for a certain amount of time and then it'll turn on its radar and it'll attack the first ship it sees. Uh, the last mode, LOS, is line of sight mode. Um, in that mode the radar goes hot immediately after launch and the ship will, and the uh, uh, missile will attack the first ship that it sees. Um, that mode also, you don't have a lot of the flight profile options that we're going to get into next. You typically use that mode for degraded missiles where you can't use one of the other more sophisticated mode. Um, for this, we do have a steer point that's uh, more or less at the location of the ship, so we'll do a uh, range and bearing launch. Uh, the next option here is the search area, which is currently set to large. Um, the search area indicates uh, basically how far from the steer point the missile will consider a ship to be a target. So um, if you uh, know the ships are moving, you want to keep the area large. Uh, if the ships are stationary, you can uh, keep the area small. Uh, these next two options uh, tell us how the missile is going to fly. Uh, the fly option um, tells us whether the missile, or allows us to tell the missile whether to skim the surface of the water or fly at a high altitude. Uh, whichever you choose, um, for the terminal portion, the missile will fly low to the water and skim in order to avoid um, point defense fire. Um, the terminal maneuver here is set. It's either skim or pop. Um, in skim, the missile will perform, uh, it'll simply fly low and hit the target directly. Um, if set to pop, the missile will perform a pop-up maneuver, um, which uh, again is used to confuse point defense weapons and make them harder to hit. So we're going to do a range and bearing launch. Uh, we'll have a large search area because I believe these ships are moving. Um, and we'll do a, a low approach and a terminal pop-up maneuver. So our missiles are all set up. We can go out of air to ground mode and take off. I'll check back with you when we're approaching the target. OK, we're back. Uh, we've located our ships on radar. They're more than 40 miles out, uh, but they're well within the range of the Harpoon. The Harpoon is an over-the-horizon fire-and-forget cruise missile. So you can launch them. We're still over shore. We can launch this missile. Um, so we're going to power on the um, 84As from the uh, SMS page. Uh, after the bit test, they're on and ready to go. So now it's just a matter of lining up with the uh, launch line. And then once we've done that, we can just pickle. And once we pickle, a missile's away. Um, we can simply retrim the aircraft, and now we're free to leave the area. Now the missile begins its pop-up maneuver. And strikes the tanker dead on. Well, that's about it for the AGM-84 Harpoon. As I mentioned before, it's an over-the-horizon fire-and-forget cruise missile. So you can fire it from great distances, 40, even 60 miles away, uh, and simply turn out and RTB. It makes it an excellent anti-ship weapon. Uh, that's about all there is to cover for now. Uh, for the 72nd, this is Stretch, signing off.